because they don't have the ability. It's because they don't have the heart to go through adversity. The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. It's a very mean and nasty place, and I don't care how tough you are, it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. You'll go through some failures. When you're in that darkness, you want to sit there and wait for the light to come. But you can't wait. The only way out is to step forward, to face your fears, to become your own light. There's going to be a lot of times y'all about to fail. We are all a work in progress. But in that moment, I want you to remember the power of you. You will change the world. Even when you're struggling, even when you're discouraged, and you feel like other people have given up on you, don't ever give up on yourself. The indomitable will, if you have a belief, you can do something. The only way you grow that, like in the gym, you grow your muscles by actually exercising. Yeah. To grow the individual will to become something, you must get comfortable with fear and failure. They must be your best friends. They're the only one that moves that needle of life. Every hero you guys had was called an idiot, crazy, a loser. You must break society's status quo. Status quo is normality. It's alive but not living. It's death on a stick, guys. The belief of the individual overrides thousands of people with just intent. Safety, comfort zones are dead zones. You have to continue to push yourself because your true potential will never be matched, guys. Nobody is going to hit as hard as life, but it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. Now, if you know what you're worth, then go out and get what you're worth. But you got to be willing to take the hits. The future rewards those who press on. With patient and firm determination, I'm going to press on. I don't have time to feel sorry for myself. I don't have time to complain. I'm going to press on. Stop complaining. Stop crying. We are going to press on. We've got work to do. What's your why? What motivates you? What pushes you? What drives you? And if that thing is internal, if nobody has to call you, if nobody has to prod you, if nobody has to reward you, if nobody has to give you anything, if you are self-motivated and self-regulated, you can have it, you can be it, you can do it. Take ownership. Take extreme ownership. Don't make excuses. Don't blame any other person or any other thing. Get control of your ego. Take ownership of everything in your world, the good and the bad. Take ownership of your mistakes. Take ownership of your shortfalls. Take ownership of your problems. And then take ownership of the solutions that will get those problems solved. Take ownership of your mission. Take ownership of your job, of your team, of your future, and take ownership of your life. And lead to victory. It's possible you can live your dream. It's necessary that you have a plan of action, that you're resilient, that you stick to, and you work with the system, that you have the vision and never give it up, that you become creative and relentless and keep on coming back again and again and again, and that it's you that you've got to take personal responsibility to make it happen, and that it's hard, easy is not an option, and when life knocks you down, jump back up and say, it's not over until I win. All right. All right. All right. It's not over until I win. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Good afternoon. Good evening, wherever you are in the world. You are here today because you are taking charge of your life. You are taking charge of your business. And I'm so glad. We are so glad that you are on this call, on this training with us this morning. This is uh, Dr. Sergio Rozelle here in Washington, D.C. in the DMV area. So glad to have you on. Of course, we are here with the great uh, world-class trainer, uh, our business partner, Mr. Al Bustin' Loose Murray. And we want to welcome you to our 5 and 5, the 5 and 5 
uh, training here with uh, Carrot Bars International, of course, Wealth Builders Worldwide. We are so happy that you joined us. Today, you are going to get the tools that you need in order to be successful. Um, the things that you're going to learn today, once applied properly, will help you to achieve great, great success. So without further ado, I'd like to introduce our trainer. To some of you, you if you don't know him, let me explain to you who he is. He is a gentleman that is a professional in this industry. He has been the top trainer uh, in every company that he has been in prior to this business. Uh, with just a few short months ago, not even quite a year, I think, Mr. Murray got started in this business. And he, um, along with his partners, because he's not going to take the credit himself, because of course this is a team sport, he, along with his partners, got involved with this business. They saw the plan, they saw what was offered, and then they applied these very same steps that you'll be getting trained on today to not only achieve five and five, but they actually went out, broke records, hitting the position, the top position of gold director, and as a result, have helped thousands of people worldwide to have maximum success in this business. So. I'm actually thrilled. We are all thrilled to have him as a part of a team that is doing tremendous things worldwide. So without further ado, let me introduce to some, oh, I forgot how the little saying goes, introduce to some, whatever, whatever, to others, <laughs> the incomparable, the professional, the gentleman that is humble, has a heart of gold, he knows 100% of the facts, loves helping people, and believe it or not, likes to have fun. We call him Mr. Bustin' Loose, Mr. Al Murray. Call is yours, sir. Yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. I certainly appreciate that awesome introduction. I tell you, um, it, it's a pleasure working with you, sir. You know, it, it's not often that you get to work with folks of uh, such a high caliber trainer, um, person, builder, and, uh, you know, you've done some great things just in your own right. You know, number one best-selling author, not once, twice, but three times over. Um, just an expert in the internet marketing field. And, uh, you know, you were the first person that actually introduced me and helped me realize what uh, a gold brick was and, and what the wall, gold wall of fame was over in Stuttgart, Germany. And uh, since then, you know, not just myself, but again, some of those folks that you just mentioned, Mr. Rodney Roach, um, Lewis Young, uh, Crypto Steve or Stephen Coates, uh, Dominic Curry, just so many folks from the team have been able to hit that level. And um, it's just a testament to this awesome team that we have going here with Wealth Builders Worldwide. Now, folks, I want to encourage each and every one of you. Uh, we're going to go through some exercises, and I want to I want to encourage you one to go to Wealth Builders Worldwide, pull down the uh, Gladiators Club form, get you two copies of that club form. All right, and um, if you if you are are unable to do that, grab pen and paper because we're going to go through a couple of exercises. This isn't your typical uh, training where you come on board and you just listen. Okay, we we're going to need some some participation. We're gonna want, want some help as far as um, where you are with regards to your list, how many people you're able to put on the list as a result of the exercise, and we're gonna go through some role play with three-way phone calls and things that are like. So understand, folks, this is, this is not a training where you're gonna come here and just listen to me. We're gonna need, your participation is gonna make this call what it is, okay? So understand that, folks. So what we're going to do first and foremost is we're going to go ahead and move, move, move forward into the training. We want you to get off to a fast start. The way you do that, folks, is by selecting your business package. Choose your business package. All right, you're going to need to set up your KYCs. KYC means know your customer. So what you want to do is submit something like a driver's license, a pictured ID, driver's license, uh, passport, government ID, something with your picture, something official, and you want to submit that online. 
and what we want to do is make sure that that document you can see all four corners of it okay folks now one of the things i definitely want to make sure and share with everyone is that this is a platform whereby which we all can participate so i don't want to cut this off so that you guys can't ask questions and things that are like at the end of the program and participate doing during the program so as you join we're going to need you to make sure that you're muting out your calls and what have you but i, I don't want to have to mute everybody out because I, this is interactive and there's parts of this call that we're going to need you guys to speak okay so um let's just be mindful of our background any background noise especially even if you participate we need you to manage the background noise that you have so understand folks as you start getting these the kyc document as you put that in your your driver's license or picture id into the system we want to see that is color and they also want to see that you can see all four corners of that id Next, you're putting in proof of address, okay? And with that proof of address, address, we want a utility bill, uh, phone bill, car registration, something like that in color. They need to see the logo of the bank statement or what have you. If you want, you can white out amounts or what have you. Doesn't matter, it's going into, the corp into, into corporate. Your sponsor doesn't see it or what have you. But uh, send that in again. You wanna make sure that it's in color and you can see all four corners. Also, there's a section where you can go down below and you can just click in the blue and you can look at the document yourself. So make sure when you do that, you can see that the document is, is poised, make sure it's legible. And then that way your KYC documents can get done as soon as possible. One of the other things we generally do is go to the chat button. There's a green chat button um, down towards the bottom left hand side of your screen or what have you, it may be blue, but you can type in there please approve my KYC's ASAP and put in your username, okay? That'll get you a little faster um, KYC approval. Also, you can call corporate um, and give them your username. A lot of times we do this for those that we sponsor just to make sure that the documents get approved ASAP. Then you wanna order, ah, got a typo there. You wanna order your MasterCard. That's important, folks. That's on your back in your back office. And I'm not going into all of those specifics as far as showing you where those are. We've got tons of trainings that are done by, by great trainers in their own right that actually show you how to manipulate your back office, okay? So we definitely want you to go, go into the back office, get your MasterCard. You don't have to do the, the expedient um, delivery. You can take the faster, the slower delivery. You'll get there in about seven days or what have you. And again, the, the, the cost there is just for shipping. It does not cost to get that MasterCard. It's not tied to your social security number. You get that and you're able to get that as a result of being a part of this organization and completely uh, being approved with your KYC documents, all right? So then you wanna set up your auto exchange. What we're looking to do as a team, Wealth, wealth Builders Worldwide, is we commit to getting at least one gram of gold a month, folks. So with that, Hopefully you've, you've understood that. And um, I see we got things coming up in the chat. Um, we're gonna take all questions at the end and we will have a Q and A as we move through uh, the session. But I see folks are mainly saying, hello. I'm not one to normally check, check, the, chat, check the chat, but uh, Dr. Rozelle and others are there. You guys can manage that chat as you wish. Um, here's the thing folks, what you're here to do today is to accomplish your very first goal is to achieve the five and five carrot fast track bonus. And what that is folks, is when you help five people within your first five weeks get a business package at your level or higher, you get a free upgrade to the next level. So simply, simply, let's just say you come in as a silver, uh, you get a silver package, or um, you get one of the profit packs that puts you in at the silver level, because that's what we're doing now. We're pushing profit packages and, uh, and helping folks acquire the coin and get a business status there. So as you come in and you get one of those profit packages that puts you in at the um, silver level, you help five people get that package. Let's say your first two weeks, um, that promotes you to the gold level. Now you've got three weeks left, so you're a gold. So if you help five more people reach the gold package level or higher, you can get another promotion to VIP. 
So it's an awesome thing, folks. I love the way this company has it set up. So that's, this is what this training is all about. And if you're just joining, again, we want you to grab pen and paper because we're going to be doing an exercise that's going to help you grow your business. And I need you guys to pay very close attention to this because it's going to help you, again, grow your business. Now, what we want to do, folks, is we want to go to wealthbuildersworldwide.info. You can go to wealthbuildersworldwide.info or wealthbuildersworldwide.net, all right? And that's super important because um, what you're going to do is you, it's going to show you everything that you need with regards to this business. We've got this thing on there called the map, okay? But first, you got to register. Then you view the map. The map is called the Massive Action Plan, and that just shows you our entire system, how to move through this business and how to flow through it and make it work for you, all right? Now, what I'm actually going to do is I'm, I'm going to go there, actually. I want you guys to see a few things. Um, normally have this queued up, but you can see. <laughs> I don't, oh, my goodness. There we go. All right. So, again, you need to log in, okay? Here's the map. Let me just cross this out. Here's the map, and it'll show you. As a matter of fact, one of the things that I like as well, you can see in a drop down, we've got this um, a welcome letter for customers, as well as a um, normally we have an, an affiliate and customer letter. So make sure that you send the, the affiliates um, a welcome letter as well. It's a. Okay, folks, let's try to be careful to make sure that you have your line muted, please. Thank you so much. Thank you, Dr. Razel. Okay, so we're gonna make sure that we come here to uh, view the information here. You got forms, and this is where we come to our website, okay? You can go on here, you can get a landing page, a great landing page that will help you expose and build your business. Now, one of the things that I like to do is I like to use the landing page that is on our Facebook page, um, on our uh, carrot, carrot Bars link. And what I've done is I've linked that to a domain name. So I use www.wealthsystem.com. And what it does is it takes you to the landing page. You can get to this on your SG site. It's the last, it's your landing page on your SG site, or you can also get to it on the carrotbars.com. But as you can see here, what this does is it has, one, it has a short video. It's about eight minutes long, okay? So you can share this video. Again, we're peaking interest. And uh, this is designed so that you can move into a three-way phone call because it's going to peak interest, but it doesn't talk anything about prices, packages, and things that are like. So um, it, it helps you segment into the three-way phone call. Not only that, once you've shared this with someone, they can actually click here and register, okay? So when they click here and register, it shows that they can sign up here as an affiliate. Now, what's awesome about this is, boom, all of your information is already in here. Your username, your user ID, and, and what have you. That's, those are things that I don't keep it, I don't memorize. In other companies, I had to memorize them, but uh, what's great is this company has the tools that is necessary for us to have success in the business. Now, not only that, but you can peruse through this entire landing page and you've got the bank opening video you've got the roadmap to, to uh to our development plan everything about our coins is right here so it's a very robust landing page it's very professional and again um let's do this too because i want to make sure that we um do this i want to take you through the map and just share with you a couple of things the invitation okay so the first thing it's telling you to do is to make a list of 100 names all right choose your top 20 people on this list now we're going to have an exercise and i'm going to need you guys to participate in this so we want to have make sure that we have pen and paper so it talks about what you say and how you say it here right here on the site it talks about the presentation okay wealthbuildingsystem.info you can go on there and get your own personalized uh landing page as well and then it talks about the follow-up conversations. So this is everything that you need in order to build your business and get folks started off right, okay? So you definitely, if you're serious about having a robust business within this business, um, what the professionals do is they go to this website and they utilize the tools on this website. Next, you wanna get plugged in with your team, uh, Facebook pages, Wealth Builders Worldwide, 
uh, Facebook page and your team's Facebook pages so you can be up to date and up to speed with regards to the trainings and uh, that take place throughout the organization. So now that we've gone through that, folks, I think that's very important that you understand um, what's available to you through this awesome team, Wealth Builders Worldwide. Again, that's wealthbuildersworldwide.info or .net. Now, as a note, as a note participate in wealth, in wealth Builders Worldwide team members. As team members, we commit to acquiring at least one gram of gold a month and at least five to 10 transactions. So understand this, if you're a person by yourself, you can acquire a gram of gold by doing 10 individual, one-tenth a gram purchases. That'll give you five transactions, okay? So if you're new and you wanna make sure that you, you, you maintain and be a part of this team and maintain your numbers, you can do that. As you're building a team, then you wanna make sure that you're getting five to 10 transactions and you just, if, if you're able to do that, then, then not naturally just go in and get one gram of gold and, and, let it, and let it move from there. But we're just showing you how to position yourself and build towards positions later, okay? So this is a business and you gotta have some sort of standard. So these are your entry level uh, goals in your business. And understand this, you don't have to make your minimums your maximums, okay? So what that simply means is you can do more than a gram a week. You can, some folks do five grams. Some people do five grams a week, okay? You can do more than, more than five to 10 transactions if you wish, okay? Just know that on one credit card, the company will only let you do 10 transactions over the month. So listen, let's talk about the importance of your list, folks, because again, I need you to grab pen and paper and be ready to uh, participate in this next exercise, all right? So listen, the, uh, the list is usually the first mistake that we make in our business, okay? What we tend to do is we tend to think that we can manage our business right through, through this vehicle right here, through this tool, um, a, a cell phone. Now understand, some people work their cell phones in, 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 in professional ways, others don't. You know, so most of the time, if you're just joining a business, then your cell phone is for personal use. So you may have four or five Johns in your phone, okay? Me, I'm first, last name, all time. I'm putting something in the status box so I can see who I'm talking to, you know, and, and what have you. But everybody is not that proficient. And that's one of the reasons why we want to make sure that we have everything. We move the content off of here onto paper, okay? So it's important that you have your very own list. Wow, I wanted to make sure I had mine so I could show it. Um, but again, it's in preparation for your grand opening. Your grand open is your, your private gold reception. Okay, so you could, you would, if you were opening a tr traditional business, let's say a grocery store, you wouldn't open that grocery store and not have anything on the shelves. Okay, if you were opening up a um, car dealership, you wouldn't open up and have your grand opening without any cars on the parking lot. Okay, so this, your, your list is your inventory. If I had to measure and guess, take a guess on who was gonna have the most success, success in this business, it would be the person that had the largest list, the person that had the most inventory. So that's what you wanna make sure that you do. As we're making a list, probably the biggest mistake that we make is we preclude people, we prejudge, and we say, oh no, this person won't wanna do it, oh this person will wanna do it, oh this person won't wanna do it. Imagine if the person that got you started in this business, that introduced this to you, imagine if they prejudged and said, you know what, you won't want to do it, and they didn't say anything to you. You wouldn't be a part of this organization. So what the professionals do is we put everybody that we know on the list because doesn't it make sense that everybody that you know, that they should know what you're doing? Because how can they support your business if they don't know that you have a business or what it's all about? So the first thing is we're getting that list together, folks, is important. And then here's the thing, folks, it's designed for duplication. And what I mean by that is, see, it helps you duplicate your business because your list, you start out with a list, it leads you to other people, and let's just say you got 100 or so folks on your list. Now you bring in three people as a result of that, and those three people have a list of 100. Guess what? Your business now has 400 warm market leads to contact about this business. Duplication is what, it, what it's all about. We don't do what works, we do what duplicates because that's ultimately what works in this business. Next, your list should be continuously growing. How does your list continuously grow? What it means is that you prospect, 
okay? You're out, you prospect, and you share this opportunity with people that you may or may not know. What I like to say is, is making new friends. So if I'm at the gas station, or oftentimes I might prospect while I'm in the grocery store, okay? So I might see a person that might look good in my business, and you know what? I might see them on this aisle, and I say, you know what? I'm going to prospect that person. And what I'm going to do is I look and I, I may see the, the proper way to approach them because, see, that person may be walking away from me. They may, I may have seen them as I was walking towards them, and then it, but they may get what they want off the shelf and go the other way. So you know what? I'll take my basket and I'll turn around and meet them on the next aisle, okay, coming down. And I'll say, and I just may say, wow, you know, hey, listen, sir, that's a great suit you wear today. Man, what color is that? Oh, it's money green. Man, money green is my favorite color. But listen, man, it, it, uh, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Al Murray. I'm a local business owner here in the Southern Maryland area. And listen, you may or may not be interested, but I'm looking for some sharp folks. And uh, it'll only take about 10 minutes of your time. What I'd like to do is share a 10-minute video with you so that you can see or, and learn the facts. Would you mind if I get your name and number? Boom. And, I'm, and I got my phone here. Folks, I want to welcome you to the call. This is an interactive call, and if you're just joining, we want to ask that you make sure that you mute out your line and manage any background noise. So I'll go ahead and do it real quick and just mute everybody out. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm prospecting is I'll have my, my Samsung note. And when I, when I go down to write, Again, folks, I'm going to have to knock you off the call if you don't um, manage your background noise. So I'm going to mute this thing out one last time. All right. So as I have my note, what I'm doing is I'm, I'm, I'm looking down. I'm ready to write. Okay. And understand this. The first person that talks loses. I've already asked for their number, right? So I'm going to just do like this until they say what their number is, okay? Now, one of the keys to prospecting, folks, you really have to understand this, is that your person that you're prospecting is only gonna be com as comfortable with you as you are with them. So you gotta practice this stuff in the mirror sometimes, okay? And, you got, and you're gonna get better at it as you do it, okay? It's not something where you're, com you're, you're um, setting up some sort of um, long scenario where you're going to talk to them and once you get that name and number what you're doing again is you're going to edify the video on your landing page and it's like hey listen the information on there is going to give you one on that video is going to give you 110 percent of the facts and uh what i'll do is i'll give you a call you think you can take a look at that video by 12 by 12 tomorrow oh yeah great i can do that well outstanding i'll give you a call by 12 30 okay and boom so now you've set it all up, you've got their name and their number, you've set it all up, then all you have to do is follow up, folks. The fortune is in the follow up. Next, the list is often a reason that your business underperforms, all right? And again, if you're just joining, folks, we got a lot of people that are just joining us, please grab pen and paper, we need you to do that. I mean, obviously we come to trainings, we should be ready with pen and paper to take notes anyway, but we're gonna go through an exercise and we're gonna need your participation, all right? So um, next, the list is often a reason why your business underperforms because you have not taken this first step important. Okay, you haven't, you know, professionals, we understand the list. But if you're just getting started, man, and you want to move your business to the next level, you want to do what the professionals do and not what the amateurs do. Allow your sponsor to work with you. That's what the list does. So what you want to do is make sure that you get your sponsor a copy of your list. That's important because oftentimes, man, I, I can't keep track of, in my head of who I'm talking to, who I'm helping, okay? But if I have your list and I can look at it and I can see you, you call me and you say, hey, we're about to do a three-way phone call with number four, number six, and number 10, boom, I know who I'm dealing with now, okay? And so when you call me, I can be ready for it. And here's the thing, sometimes I'm doing three ways all day long, I'm helping people. Your, your, your sponsor is doing the same thing for you. They're helping other people. So sometimes we forget names. But if I got the list right here, I can just easily look at the list and see that I'm talking to your Uncle John. All right. So let's make sure that we take this exercise um, very important and start your list. So hopefully what you guys have done, if you, you've gone to Wealth Builders Worldwide, gone to the, to the form section and pulled down your Gladiators Club form. OK, and understand this. You want to grow that list. 
by prospecting one to three people a day. That's how you're gonna grow the list as we just talked about prospecting. Next, you wanna send out this Gladiators form with every new, uh, new affiliate welcome letter that you, that you send out. So as you restart to sponsor people within your five and five, you're going to accomplish five and five. So that means you're sponsoring at least five people, okay, in your first five weeks. So each one of those people, you know, um, should get a copy of the new affiliate welcome letter as well as this as an attachment to that, to that new affiliate welcome letter. So they have their list and you can get them then on this training call and we can help them develop their list. So understand, what we want to do now is we want to move through um, this list right now. So we're going to go through this. Okay, I have, I have a memory jogger here. And as I start to mention names, as I start to mention states and areas um, and, and, and different occupations, what we need you to do is write down the names. I don't want you to do any numbers right now. Just write down names. That's what we want to do is write down names. So, so this is very important, folks. I'm going to help you put your list together. So obviously, the first thing we, we saw on the map was put the 20 best people that we know on the list. The 20 best people that we know that we feel as though, this is where we're going to prejudge, is that we feel that they are, that they will have success in this business. Okay, so put the 20 sharpest people that you know on the top of your list. Oftentimes, folks, these are the last people that we talk, go, look to talk to. And then when we get the nerve to go up and talk to these people, um, at this point, they're already in business with somebody else. Okay, so you should be writing right now. You should be writing down names right now. The top 20 people, okay, pen and paper, put pen to paper. We're just going to write down the names right now. Okay, so you should be writing down those 20 top people. Okay, write them down. Pen to paper, head should be down. You should be writing right now. This is interactive. I'm going to need some folks to unmute their lines and talk about the list. Talk about their list. How many people did they have on board um, prior to this training? How many people did they have on their list as a result of going through this training? Okay, so understand. We're going to move forward. We're putting 20, our 20 best people on this list. Next, put your mother and your father down on the list. I heard an example of somebody going to a briefing, a meeting, and finding out that their own parents had signed up on a team with somebody else. Is that crazy or what? What does it say to your potential ability to have success in this business if your mother and father sign up on somebody else's team, folks? That's incredible, okay? My father's involved, my mother-in-law's involved, my brothers are involved, my, my, I got uncle, uncles and aunts involved, cousins involved, fraternity brothers involved, folks that I worship with involved. So understand, I'm telling everybody and that should be your attitude, folks. The worst thing you want, we should have pen to paper and we should be writing down names right now. 20 top people, okay? Anybody, write down your mother, your father, mother, mother-in-law, father-in-law, your grandparents if, you're, if they're fortunate enough to be alive. Your children, my children are involved. They have packages, they buy gold every month. They also do what? They own gold, they own uh, coins, they own cryptocurrency, folks. So understand, get your children involved. Should your brothers and sisters know? You should be writing names down right now, folks. Okay, your list should be growing. If you're new on this call, and this is your very first time taking this training, uh, or, or being involved in a fast track training, this is what you should be doing. You should be writing down your list, okay? This is your money. This is how you're gonna build your business. This is you following the business plan and the success structure of Wealth Builders Worldwide. Your brothers and sisters, your aunts and uncles, your nieces and nephews, your cousins, you should be writing down their names, okay? You, you pen, should be on, pen should be the paper and you should be writing down names. We're not gonna focus on the numbers right now. We're gonna focus on the names, okay? Now. Who are your friends and neighbors? Put them on a list, okay? Put them on a list. Who are your friends and neighbors? Who do you work with? Okay, right now in the DC area, folks have been furloughed for over a month. They've missed over two checks, okay? Right now is the perfect time to start helping people like that get into this business. Why? One, because they're going back to work, they're gonna be getting back pay. So they've lived up to this point and they're gonna be getting back pay. So they're gonna have, in a way, I'm, I want to, I'm, I dare to say extra money because some of them may have extra money, okay? If they've been living out of their savings 
for now. Obviously, they're going to want to replace that money, their savings back. But also, they may see the, uh, the, the, the ability, based upon what's happened to them, why they should own and start their own business, okay? So understand, folks, put those people on your list. Who, who do you go to Sunday school with? Who are your church members? What groups do you belong to? JCs, exchanges, rotary clubs, civic groups, political clubs, Elks, Elks Lodges, Moose Lodges. What about your fraternities, sororities, Five Star, Masons, schoolmates? Who did you go to school with? You know, some of my best friends are on this line. What matter of fact, my best friend is on this line. He's an affiliate. He's heavily invested in the coin, okay? He's sharing this with folks. He has a list. He's doing three-way phone calls. So put your coworkers, your former coworkers, people from your hometown, military cohorts, where you're in the Army, Navy, Marines. Who do you know in the Army, Navy, or Marines? Who do you do business with? Your dentist, your doctor, your barber. Listen, my, my barber, he's involved. Got a silver package, 3K pack. <laughs> okay, so it's incredible, folks. I'm just here to tell you. Make sure that you talk to everybody you know. Follow your dollar. If you're supporting somebody else's business, shouldn't they support yours? Again, folks, grab pen and paper. It's not too late. I need you to participate in this right now because, again, I don't make this call. Dr. Rozelle doesn't make this call. Understand, we do this training for you all. And so that we need your participation to make this what it is, folks. All right? So you should be putting down names and numbers. What about your Christmas card list? Who did you send a Christmas card to? Who did you get a Christmas card from? Who told you Merry Christmas? If you were getting married, who would you invite to your wedding? They should be on your list. Graduation, your son graduated. Who did you send out announcements to? Your daughter graduated. Who did you send announcements to? They should all be on your list. Not just looking at that list, but they should be on your gladiators club form. Grab your address book, old address books, church directories, work directories. Now, let's start thinking about people in other locations. We live in the DMV, most of us. Well, I live in the DMV, so does Dr. Rozelle. Okay, so what we do is we're preparing our list. We think about folks in our immediate proximity. So I live in Maryland. I'm thinking about D.C. I'm thinking about Northern Virginia. I'm thinking about Delaware. I'm thinking about possibly even North Carolina, New Jersey. New We've got folks, some of the top leaders, they're in New Jersey right now doing a training. Okay, but they're from Maryland, but they're in, I'm sorry, in New York doing a training. Yesterday they did a briefing. Today they're doing a training. You should, your pen should be the paper. You should be writing down names, folks. Who are the business owners that you know? Okay, write them down. Guess what? They may want an ATM machine. They may want to be able to accept Bitcoin, cryptocurrencies as payment in their establishments. Who sold you your insurance policy? Who sold you your automobile policy? Life insurance. Who do you know that's office manager? Who do you know in human resources? Who do you know that's an accountant? Who do you know that's an architect, works for a credit union? Who do you know that's involved in daycare? Who do you know that works in a federal government? You should be writing names down right now. I'm just, look, I'm just looking to jog your memory with a few things you should be writing. Who actually sold you your mortgage? Who helped you get your mortgage, folks? Who do you know in the music field? Who do you know that has, has approached you about opportunities like this? Who do you know in pest control? Skin care. Who do you know in Delaware? Who do you know in New York? Who do you know in the DMV area? We've got a free briefing that goes on every single Monday. Also one that's taking place in the Baltimore area. When you see these presentations, this is why you got to be locked into the company. When you see these presentations going on, 
in, within these different websites, um, Facebook pages and things that are like in these areas, you should be asking your team, who do you know in Michigan? Who do you know that in New York? That's how you grow your business, folks. Who do you know in Alabama? Who do you know in Georgia? Who do you know in Massachusetts? New Jersey, New Hampshire. Who do you know in North Carolina? Who did you graduate from college with? I love it. Uh, Dr. Rozell, uh, Lincoln University, you know, um, Michael Dennis, Lincoln University. You know, I've done some three-way phone calls with Dr. Rozell and, and he's been put in and he's, he's introducing folks from his college. Now, I'm not going to Joan and talk about ages or anything, but how long was it been, has it been since he, <laughs> <laughs> how long has it been since he's been at university, at Lincoln University? You know, I'm talking to my fraternity brothers. You know, we, we players at Delaware State University. Put them on the list. Who do you know in other countries? We're opening up countries every day, different countries. Who do you know in Australia? Who do you know in the UK? Who do you know in Europe? Who do you know in Africa? Folks, put them on your list. You should be writing right now, names. Your list should be growing, okay? Don't take this, don't, don't. Sometimes I wonder why do we get on trainings and we don't participate? We don't come with pen and paper. Folks, you can't trust this stuff to memory. Not only that, but we're talking about one of the most important first steps of your business is that's having a list. You've got to be participating in this. Why else would you be on this call if you're not doing a list right now? I thought I brought my brief briefcase down here, but I didn't because I wanted to show you my list, my second list. My first list had over 300 names on it. My second list has about almost 200 names on it. But I've got lists all over the place because I understand the importance. Everything I've ever done in life outside of the federal government uh, as being a federal government employee, I retired. 1990, 1996, okay? Ever since then, I've had a list for everything that I've done because it's all been entrepreneurial. Who do you know in Canada? Alberta, Canada. British Columbia. Who do you know in Quebec? California. My gracious, California is a huge state. Texas. South Carolina. Florida. Pennsylvania. Grow your list, folks, and expose everybody on your list to this awesome opportunity. And I say awesome because I'm demonstrating something, folks. Everything about our business, we have to edify. We're going to talk about edification later, okay? But you've got to start learning the language of this business, the language of the business. See, the professionals, they learn the language of the business, all right? It's so important that we do that. So listen, we, all, we have a mute button. We all can unmute. And what I want to do is I just want to hear from a couple of people who are on the line today that have had a list, possibly, maybe didn't have a list, how many names have you added to your list? How many people have you put on your list? And again, very simple, just need your participation, need you to unmute your line, make sure you're in a quiet place, you, you don't have a whole bunch of background noise, and just share, tell us, tell us how many people you have on your list, and how you, when, maybe when you did your list, anything pertinent. We don't need long statements, but take about 10, 15 seconds and just share with us um, what's transpiring with your list. So I want to open up the call right now. Going to need you to unmute. Hey, good morning, Mr. Murray. Yes, sir, Mr. Florence. How you doing this morning, sir? Uh, Out, just, outstanding. I just want to say, Mr. Murray, uh, going through your memory jogger again, I, I added uh, 21 names. Wow, you added 21 names. Yeah. Stuff. Okay, 21 names. Now, how many, how many did you have on your list prior? Great, uh, yeah, uh, 278. 278 prior? Yes. 
Okay, and so you just added another 21 names. Incredible. Yeah. Oh, incredible. All right. So what I want you to do, sir, is I want you to focus on the three-way phone call piece and maybe even volunteer if someone doesn't volunteer for the three-way phone call piece, because that's going to be one of the things that's going to help you most in your business. As you start to contact and invite these folks, we're going to need to do three-way phone calls, use third party to answer questions and to pique their interest. So I appreciate you sharing that, sir, and uh, leading by example. Um, please mute your line, and I want to ask the next person to step up and tell us a little bit about their list. Will do. Thank you. And that's, that's incredible. He's starting off with a list of 278, and he's added 21 names. Who else is willing to step up and just share with us and tell us a little bit of the numbers about their list? Hi, this is Sharice. I'm uh, in the D.C. area. How you doing, Sharice, and welcome Great, to the thanks. call. Thank you so much. Um, I actually started off with uh, 11 people on my list, and just, just now in this session alone, I've added 32 people. Uh, okay, 32. Outstanding. Outstanding. So just two people there, we've added 53 names. Now, what I want to ask you is, <clears throat> excuse me, how long have you been in the business? Me? Yes, ma'am. Uh, I, I, I got with Dr. Rozelle uh, on Tuesday. On Tuesday. So you're new to the business. Okay. And you started. And okay. So I, first and foremost, welcome to the business. And you couldn't be working with a better affiliate than Dr. Sergio Rozelle. He's at the top of this company for a reason. And that's because he's helped people like yourself have a ton of success. So welcome to the business. And what I want to say to you is I want to say to you to finish your list. Start Absolutely. working on your list. How many people do you have in your cell phone? Uh, countless. Countless. They should be on your list. Okay. They okay. should be on this gladiator form. Okay. Absolutely. So, all right. All right. So I appreciate you stepping up and sharing. And, um, and, and you are a typical uh, affiliate. That's how most affiliates come on board is they may not understand um, the importance of putting this list together because we say it a lot of times and you hear it from your sponsor, but as we start to write, and, and, I'm, and I'm willing to bet that you did some prejudging. Let me, would you be honest with me and tell me if you did some prejudging as you started writing people down on that list? Absolutely. Okay, that's a critical mistake, okay? Because again, what if Dr. Rozell prejudged you? Right. You wouldn't, right. Be in, you wouldn't be in the business. So what we do is we just expose people. We write a tremendous list, the largest list that we can put together. Okay, and then we just expose them. We let them fall where they may. We don't get involved. See, sometimes if you got a list of 11 people, you get emotional about the list and you start, and, and what happened, and, and I say emotional, but when you, when you talk to the first five people on that list and they say no, now you're feeling a certain way about the business. Okay, because one, these are people that you thought would see interest and value in the business, but they're telling you no. So now how, how, that, that affects your mindset, okay? But if you have 100 more people, 200 more people to go through, man, you're like, I got a ton of people on this list. Let's keep moving, okay? So when you have a large list, and this is the mindset you should have about your list, you should be thinking to yourself that you're not, you don't care who gets involved. You're just making sure that you expose every single person to this opportunity through third party. Yeah. And, and follow up with them. Does that make sense? Okay, we're going to need to make sure that everybody is muted out. Okay, so Felicia Hughes, could you please mute your line out? What? Okay, Felicia, Felicia is uh, taking care of some business there, so I'm just going to mute out everybody. So listen, I, don't, I appreciate you sharing with us. And um, don't mean to put you on the spot, but I really just want to make sure that I give you some good advice on how to have success in this business. So thank you so much for sharing. I want to take one more person. If uh, we can get one more person to step up, unmute, and just talk to us a little bit about their list. Thank you. You're welcome. Hello, this is Ruby Thomas, L. Ruby Thomas. How you doing, Ms. Thomas? Good morning. Um, great. Oh, my goodness. Um, I just barely caught it on, and I've been trying to catch it in the morning. But my list, this is actually the first time I'm making an official list with this particular format. 
Okay. And I've been in this space. I've been in this uh, with Carrot Bar since, uh, I guess, December. Okay. Okay, so you've been involved since December. It um, has been a mess trying to keep this close together. So this has been priceless for me. I actually have 40 names that I didn't have before. And I'm thinking, I've been calling everybody, right? Mm -hmm. But then as your the memory job in itself brought out people that for some odd reason, my, you know, I talk to a lot of people all the time, were not there before. Right. right. And I talk to a lot of these people <laughs> often. So uh, relatives popped out, college friends, uh, names I haven't, I didn't even, I'm going to be really honest, I haven't said in a couple of years. Mm -hmm. um, a babysitting. I haven't done childcare in over 20 years, and I had names from that list. Wow. Okay. Seniors I've helped. <laughs> Good stuff. Good stuff. I, I mean, it's just, I mean, programs I haven't been a part of in over 15 years, I have now names to call. Outstanding. Outstanding. That, and, that's that is, and it's still going. <laughs> Good stuff. I, I encourage you to continue because yeah. it sounds like you have many more people on your list. Mm -hmm. and, and, and let me let me ask you this. So do you think what 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 how did um prejudging people, how did that affect you and putting your list together? It I hadn't even realized I was prejudging people. And the fact is, thank you for saying what you said because that's when I recognized that's what was going on. Mm, I yes, was cherry yes, picking yes. people for this business and that's ineffective yeah. because I feel that everybody, you know, in my, in my heart, that's why I got in this because everybody should have carry bar. <laughs> that's right. And I wasn't thinking that way. So now my list is going to an ABC off the list as opposed to a, Oh, a, you know, maybe this one, she's going to do it. He, he might like it, you know, nah, or he needs it. Mm. <laughs> Stuff. I'm going, I'll be on this training a little more. I'm also going to be bringing people onto the training. And that was, um, that Felicia is my, is the person that I registered with. She just got on. I'm going to I'm gonna talk with her about getting started in the morning. Good Thank stuff. You. Good stuff. All right. Sounds good. Sounds good. We certainly appreciate you um, unmuting and, mm -hmm. uh, and just sharing that information with us. We, we really appreciate that uh, because you guys really make, bring the value to the call as you participate and and you just talk so you you did more you did you did a better training than i could ever do because you were talking through your personal experience and that's important so thank you again for that um Absolutely. yeah you're welcome you're welcome i'm gonna go ahead and mute everybody out again because i do hear a little bit of background i tell you folks this is what it's all about and this is why you want to get your people on this training call because dr Rozell and myself are helping people. Okay, this is this is where you want to get your new people. We've got plethora of trainings that go on, okay? And they're going to show you, you're going to learn how to get run and work through your back office. Then they're going to talk to you about the importance of putting your list together and things that are like, and, and all of that is needed, okay? What we focus on in this call are the nuts and the bolts of what it takes to, to, to manipulate and make your business work. So you got to be on all of the trainings, okay? Because you got to get all of the information. But this is about putting the nuts and the bolts together of what it takes you for you to get that five and five. And, and you're just hearing it. You know, we've got folks get since December, okay? Fairly new, okay? But adding, I mean, we just heard from three people there that just added 40, 32, the 72, and 21 names. We got close to 100. We got close to 100 people just in a in a little exercise that quickly and i guarantee you that each and every one of them could put probably another hundred names on that list easily just by just going through their phone okay talking to their family members understand this folks family those were the first people i went to the top 20 and most important that was my family Man, if sometimes it's hard to get your family support, but I'm telling you, you'll never get it if you don't tell them. Mm. You'll never get it if you don't tell them. Okay, so um, <clears throat> folks, with that, we're gonna go ahead and move forward. Appreciate each and every one of you that stepped up and shared on this call. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm, again, I'm gonna ask everybody to make sure that they're muted out. 
okay, because we definitely want to be able to keep this a um, interactive call. And if you guys would do something as well, as you start to invite your affiliates to the line, please just let them know the protocol because I, I, I really don't want to have to make it so that you guys can't unmute and then have to like raise hands and stuff like that. So we want to, we're all business owners and let's just govern ourselves accordingly. So I appreciate that. I, I've been able to do that with hundreds of people um, on conference bridges like this, hundreds. Now we only got 60 and I'm talking about hundreds. Okay. So um, let's, let's just be mindful of all of that. Okay. So let's talk a little bit about contacting and inviting folks. Okay. Cause now you got a list. Now, Invite your pro you you, you got to identify your prof prospects as red, greens, and blues. Typically, if you're putting your top 20 on the list, most likely they're reds. Reds are people that you look up to. And if you look up to them, a lot of times we want to use a direct approach. Okay. So that's like, I like to get your opinion. So what you're doing is you're saying, hey, I got some. Listen, um, Dr. Rizal, uh, this is John. I'm glad I, this is Al. I'm glad I caught you. Listen, I'm running out the door. And you know how much I respect you, sir. Another business owner that I respect so much as well just introduced me to some information that I'm excited about. But I like to get your opinion. It'll only take about 10 minutes of your time. If I shot you a quick eight minute video, do you think you could look at it by 12 o'clock noon a day? Yes, yeah, yes, I can. Well, great. Thank you so much. I'm actually running out the door. I'm going to text you that, that video and I'll give you a call back about 1230. Okay. Now understand everything we do in this business is about beginning with the end in mind. So you begin with the end in mind. So what I'm thinking is possibly what happens when I call Dr. Rozell back and he hasn't watched the video. So I'm telling him, ask him, can he watch it by 12 and I'll call him back by 1230. So now at 12 o'clock, what I'm going to do is I'm going to text him and say, hey, got, got caught up in a little meeting. I'll call you, but I'll be able to call you back at 12. So now what that does is that gives Dr. Rozell 30 minutes to watch a 10-minute video. Just a reminder, real quick, right? So that's just one little hint there, okay? Again, the indirect approach. Next, um, peers. Okay, and, and Melanie, please make sure we meet out your line. Welcome to the call. Um, greens, your greens are your peers. Now, you, your peers, these are people that are generally similar to you. They say that we're the, we're the average of the five closest people that we hang around, okay? Um, so your peers, you can use a direct approach or indirect approach, it doesn't matter. Okay, you can select that because you know these people generally and they're your, they're your peers, all right? So um, next is blues. These are people that look up to you and you can use a direct approach with them. I need you to take a look at it. It's more direct. You know, hey, listen, uh, John, I'm, I'm glad I caught you. I'm running out the door. Listen, I'm running out the door because I don't have a whole lot of time to answer questions. What I want to do is get, find out when you can take a look at my information, give you my information and set up a time when I can follow back up with you. Again, I'm not getting into conversations about all of the business and everything else because I want the landing page. I want current bars to deliver the information in a professional manner. See, you, want to, you don't want to do what works. What maybe worked for you in the past has been talking, okay? But now what works is you want to do what, what you don't want to do what works. You want to do what duplicates. So what duplicates, let's just say you're a stud but maybe you bring in some duds into the business. We'll, we'll say duds and I don't want to disrespect anybody, but I'll say a dud being someone that doesn't, isn't able to talk as well as you are, okay? So we're not doing a whole lot of talking. What we're doing is we're sharing the information. That duplicates throughout your organization. That can be happening 20, 30, 40, 60, 70, 80 levels down in your organization without you having any part in it. It duplicates. That's what this business is all about. Okay, so now as you approach that blue and you're about to call them up, hey, John, I'm glad I caught you, man. I'm running out the door. Listen, I just came across some great information. I'm really, really excited about it. It's literally changing my life. Listen, I need you to take a look at this video. You may or may not be interested and it'll only take about 10 minutes of your time. You think you can take a look at that by 12 o'clock today? Boom. Yeah, I can take a look at it by 12. 
All right, great. So I'm gonna go ahead. Let me just verify. Well, you just called them up, so you got their number. So what I'll do is I'll call you back by 1230. See what you like best about the video. Boom, and that's it, okay? So then, next, you make the call. When you're making, when you're making a call, folks, you gotta be excited. You gotta smile, okay? Put a smile on your face. Sometimes we're calling and we're down. We got the day um, on our back and you're trying to work your business. Listen, smile. When we smile, we have a different personality. You wanna take, when you, when you come to do your business, you wanna have the right mindset, the right attitude, so that you can get the proper results that you're looking for, right? Okay, so again, what you're gonna do is you're gonna invite them to a tool, okay? You're inviting them to the landing page or what have you, next, after you call them back and you're just asking them, um, you know, what did they like best about what they heard or saw on the video? Then we're, send, we're inviting them to the three-way phone call and we're gonna talk about that in a moment. Okay, so um, sometimes you might invite them to a three-way call ahead of time, okay? And sometimes your sponsor might be on the phone with you as you're making the contact. It just depends on how your team works and, and how you're doing this. And with certain affiliates, I do, I work with them in different ways, okay? I learned that from coaching. You gotta have different ways of working with people because all, uh, people learn and they react to situations differently, okay? So next, um, Answer questions by saying, I don't have a lot of time. Listen, I, uh, you know, um, the, the video will give you all of the information and I'll have a way to, to answer all of your questions a little bit later, okay? I got an expert that'll be able to answer any questions. Just take a look at that video, okay? Next, get the commitment, specifically, where, what time you're gonna talk to them, okay? If you're setting up a one-on-one -on -one appointment, if you're setting up an appointment to meet with them, Maybe they don't wanna, don't wanna watch a video. They say, I wanna meet, can you meet with me? Okay, boom, so you go ahead, you meet with them and you pop up a video. You show them the landing page at that point in time and then you go ahead and you um, set up the three-way phone call. But whatever you do when you're on the phone, after you get your commitment, you get off of the phone. Don't stick on the phone and keep talking. A lot of times we do that in the three-way phone call. We do a three-way phone call and after the commitment is made and we verify the times and things that are like, what we, what we tend to do is the expert now, you, you thank your expert and you get off the phone, but then you continue on with the conversation with the person because you know them. And then the next thing you know, they say, well, look, tell me all about it, man. Go ahead and tell me about it. And then you start telling them and running your mouth. And then what you just done was just talk them out of watching a video. So then you call them back and you say, hey, did you get a chance to watch the video? Oh, no, nah, I didn't have time. Oh, man, I forgot about it. But what it was, was you told them so much over the phone that now they don't have to watch the video. They already know they're not interested. So you didn't follow the system, folks. Understand when you go in and you buy a car, you walk in to the dealership, from the time you drive up into that dealership and they see that car coming and they recognize it as a potential customer, they already know who's gonna talk to you. The best dealerships, they already know. When you walk in through the door, they know who's gonna approach you and talk to you, folks. So there's a system to this, make sure you work it. It's important. So let's talk about edification. Edification builds respect, okay? And this is so vitally important when we're doing a three-way phone call. Edification is simply just saying something nice about folks. Now, if I'm edifying Dr. Rozelle, you know, I might not necessarily remember these personality types right off the break if you're new getting started, but it's just saying something genuine and something that you respect, you know, uh, respect about a person, okay? No lying, just come from the heart. You know, if, if, I, if I wasn't using these um, acronyms or these types of, um, these seasons or what have you to um, describe Dr. Rozelle, you know, personally, I might just say, hey, listen, I'm about to put you on the phone with a gentleman that, that walks on water and glows in the dark. Okay, so that's, that's letting a person know I got a tremendous amount of respect for this person. Okay, but what we like to do in this business, this is what the professionals do. Okay, what, we, what the professionals do is they work to hit personality types. So a fall type of personality, this is a person that wants to know all of the facts. That's me. I, like, I want to know all of the facts. So don't tell them to me, show it to me. And see, as a red, I'm a red. I know I'm a red because I understand this business. So if you're trying to recruit me and I'm a facts type of person and you start trying to give me all of the facts, 
it's no way you're going to get me in the business because I understand that you haven't been trained properly. And, and if you haven't been trained properly, it's the fault of the people that you're working with. So I don't even want to be involved with that business or you. Somebody else can come and expose me to it properly and probably get me in it. And you'll see me at the next briefing thinking, wow, I talked to this person about it. But see, I've made the personal decision that I didn't want to do business with you because you're not following the system. I hope you guys catching this, right? Spring personalities. These are people that like to help folks. Those are like doctors. Those are like pastors, okay? If, you know, so, you know, you can't, you, if you're talking to a pastor and he's about helping people, he may not want to hear about money or having fun first, okay? Or, or at all. So sometimes what we tend to do is we type, tend to talk to people, everybody about money, okay? So again, the spring personality, this is somebody that likes to have fun. All right, they like to have fun. They're the life of the party. People are always around them. Okay, you know, um, winner personalities. These are people that like money. They're the sharks. Okay, I like to say that I'm a fall winner. Okay, so as we start describing the edification, um, what people are, our prospects, as we go through our list, when I call Dr. Rozelle and I say to Dr. Rozelle, hey, listen, I got a gentleman on the line. He's watched the uh, eight minute video on my landing page. And uh, he's a fall winter. Dr. Rozell knows in his head, okay, boom. This person wants to know about facts and he likes to understand money. So it helps him with what he's gonna say in this three-way phone call, okay? Now, that's a little more sophisticated, but just understand, say, hit the four personality types. And then after you do that, you wanna, remember, we overcome objections before they arise. And I guarantee you, if some of the folks that have been calling people on their list one of the things where you get stuck at is they say, well, no, I don't want to talk to anybody. Oh, no, um, I'm busy right now. Okay. So listen, overcome the objection before it arises. This is the way I do my edification. Listen, I, uh, um, well, yeah. I, so John, what did you like best about what you heard on the video? Oh man. Um, I like the fact that, you know, I can save in gold and I like the fact that, you know, people are making income. I can, I can start a second business. I've been thinking about setting a second, starting a second business to earn some extra income. Well, great. That's exactly what I liked about it the first time I saw it too. Mirroring and matching. So the person thinks, wow, you're just like me. Okay, mirroring and matching. All right, so what I'm going to say to them is say, and he says, well, look, I got a couple of questions. Can you answer some questions for me? Well, yeah. I, um, well, listen, I have somebody that can answer those questions for you. This gentleman knows 110% of the facts. He loves to help people. He's having a lot of fun. He likes to have fun. He's building a man-sized business, so he's making a ton of money in his business. But listen, he's extremely busy. Hold while I see if I can get one minute of his time. So what I'm telling them, I didn't ask them that they want to talk to them. I'm holding my posture, and I'm, giving a, I'm making a statement which is actually a command. I'm, I'm flowing through my three-way, my, my edification and inviting and setting up that three-way phone call, right? So this gentleman knows all of the facts. He likes helping people. He's a fun person to be around. He's building a man-sized business. So understand he's making money from all over the globe. But listen, he's extremely busy. What I love about him most is he always takes a little bit of time to help me with my business. So hold while I see if I can get one minute of his time. And then I'm hitting the button, click. And I'm dialing, Dr. Rozell. Hey, listen, this is Al Murray, sir. I'm able, I got my friend John on the line. John was able to um, watch the eight, minute, the eight minute video on my landing page. Um, he says that he likes the ability to, he likes the, the aspect of gold and being able to start his own business. He's looking to start a business. So, um, what I like to do is I like them to move, move them to the Monday night briefing, the live Monday night briefing in Waldorf, or I like to move them to the Tuesday or Thursday night webinars that you, that, that you do um, at 7.30. Excellent, okay, got you. Okay. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. All right, Dr. Rozelle, I think I'm, a, I'm not sure if you're on mute or what you, um, you were saying something there. I was, I was participating. <laughs> I was answering. I was res responding to you. <laughs> I appreciate that, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So folks, that's how we do the edification. That's how 
Uh, we move forward to move people into the three-way phone call. And there's philosophies behind the way we do it. You may not understand it. I try to share it with you. You may not understand it. But, and it may take you a little bit of time to work it. But believe me, the better you, the more times you do it, the better you're going to get at it. All right? So let's move forward. And I just want to get into three-way, master the three-way phone call, folks. And here's how we do a three-way phone call. First and foremost, you want to call your expert first. Call them. Let them know. Listen, I'm going to be sitting down for about the next hour or so, um, getting ready to contact and invite some folks. Uh, are you available for three-way phone calls? Okay? Then, so you put them on, on, on notice. You also maybe want to call a backup just in case that person isn't available. All right, so you should have a list of leaders. Okay, that's why it's always important to uh, introduce your new affiliates to their upline. Okay, one or two, three levels up, you know, their upline. All right, then you follow the instructions of the expert and get off the phone after the objective has been accomplished. Okay, so you call your expert first, you don't inter interrupt the expert. And then you thank the expert after the appointment is set. Now your expert is all, now let's talk about your prospect. Your prospect is on a first name basis, okay? Now, if you're talking about a doctor, we wanna give him respect. So if I'm, if, I'm, if, I, if Dr. Rozelle is my, pros, my, my prospect, I'm gonna go ahead and I, I might say Dr. Rozelle, okay? But again, um, usually if it's my friend, if it's somebody else, um, even if it's Dr. Rozelle, See, I'm, the way I'm going to edify my expert, Dr. Rozelle, is going to be like, wow, who is this person? I need to meet him. Okay, I'm looking forward to talking to him. Okay, because understand your prospect, they have trust for you because they even know you. They gave you the telephone number. You, they watched a video on your behalf or what have you. So they have trust. There's trust built there. Next, you, what you're looking to do is build respect between your prospect and your expert. And the way you do that is by edifying your prospect. And that's where the, he knows 110% of the facts. He loves to help people. He likes having fun. And believe it or not, he's building a phenomenal size international business and he's making a lot of money. You may not even say that part of the money, okay? If you think it might offend or what have you, but he's building an incredible size global business. He's extremely busy. What I love about him most is he ta always takes a minute of his time to help me hold while I see if I can get a minute of his time. Click, and I'm holding, okay? So that's how we do it, folks. And what I wanna do at this point in time is I wanna open up. I'm gonna need, I'm a, I'm gonna need two volunteers. If I can get two volunteers, I need somebody to be um, an affiliate, and I need somebody to be a prospect. And all we wanna do now is I just wanna go through we just want to go through the three-way phone call. So we want to give a good example of how a three-way phone call is done. So if I can get two people to unmute and participate in this, one person can be the prospect, the other person will be the, the uh, affiliate, and I will be the expert. Two people. We've got 60 people on the line. Can I get two people to unmute? Yes, sir, Mr. Murray. Okay, Walter Florence, good stuff. One more person. I'm here, I'm here Mr. Murray. Okay, and that's Andrea. Andrea Hagler. Okay, welcome to the call. Okay, great. So if I can, we can make sure that everybody else is muted out. Okay, so um, let's. Um, which one? Which one of you all feels comfortable being the affiliate? It doesn't matter, Mr. Murray. You can pick. Okay, so I'll let you be the affiliate, uh, uh, Mr. Florence, and Andrea, you'll be the prospect. So, Mr. Florence, we're going to pick up from the time that um, you've called the person. You've already called me, so I'm on. I'm, I'm available, and now you've already followed up. You've already followed up with your your prospect, okay? And you're ready to move your prospect into the call with me. So you're calling your prospect. Ring, ring. You're going to call your prospect. What did you like best about what you heard or saw, okay? That's what we ask. We ask that's, the, that's the question we ask. We don't want to know what did you think. Oh, I don't even think that this is legal. I don't even think that this is going to work. We start off with something positive. So what did you like best about what you heard or saw on the video? Okay, is what we want to ask. So um, what I need you can, to do is... Mr. Murray, can you give me one second? My, my eyes went out for, for a minute. Give me one second, Mr. Murray. Okay. All right, so again, folks, 
that's what we do. We want to, we're asking a person, what did you like best about what you heard or saw on the video? And that's, and then you let them respond. Great. I like that best. I like that as well. When I first saw the video. Okay. Mr. Murray, I'd like to do something different if I may. Sure. My, uh, I'd make, like to make a recommendation. Ms. Bentley, if Ms. Bentley, uh, would you be willing to step up and do this, please, Ms. Sharice Bentley? Uh, sure, no problem. Excellent. Okay. okay, good stuff. Okay, good. That, that allows us to save a little bit of time because we're just about finished here. Okay, Ms. Bentley, so you're the prospect. So, Mr. Florence, you're calling Ms. Bentley. Ms. Bentley, what was your first name again? I'm Sharice. Sharice, okay. So, Mr. Uh, Walter Florence, you're calling Sharice, okay? So, you can start off with a ring ring. All right. Ring, ring. Hello. Hi, Sharice, how you doing? I'm great, thank you. How are you? Great. Hey, Sharice, you know I see the video. My, my first question is, what do you like best about the video? Uh, well, I like the fact that uh, we're able to build wealth uh, using gold. Uh, great. Uh, that, that doesn't deteriorate in value. Great, great. You know what? Um, I, I felt the same way after I, I, I saw the video. Um, and I'm quite sure you may have some additional questions, but could you hold a second? Absolutely. Mr. Murray? Yes, sir. Um, I have Mr. Reese on the phone. Um, what, my objective for you, I would like to get out to a, for a briefing um, as possible. Which, which briefing? Uh, briefing here in Waldorf, Maryland. Okay, so the Monday night briefing? Yes, sir. Okay. All right. And what did she see? What, 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 uh, she, how did you saw the? She saw she saw the video. She liked the video. And she liked the fact that um, you know, you can save and go. Okay, save and go. Okay. And which video did she see? So the um, uh, I sent her the uh, the uh, go video. I'm sorry, Mr. Murray. You didn't. I the landing page. Oh, the landing page. The. Uh, the eight minute video on the landing page, right? Yeah, on the landing page. Yes, okay, sir. great, 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 great. Okay, and we're getting her to the Monday night. What did you say her name was? Therese. Therese, okay. All right, great. Let's go ahead and connect her. Okay. Hi, Therese. Yeah. Hey, I, I got Mr. Murray on the phone. Uh, Mr. Murray, is, he, he, he's, a, he's a guy that knows 100% about the business. He's, he <laughs> love helping folks, and he has 100% of the knowledge about this business. Mr. Murray, are you there? Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. I am. Um, Mr. Dixon, if you wouldn't mind, please mute out your line. You got a little bit of background noise. Thank you. I'm sorry. Okay. That's all right. Thank you. Um, yeah. How you doing, Cerise? Great. I, Thank you, Mr. Murray. Outstanding. Outstanding. Listen, real quick, allow me to introduce myself. Uh, my name is Al Murray. I'm a local business owner here in the Southern Maryland area, and I'm extremely excited about this opportunity that has Mr. Florence and I aligned with this company that's been in business since 2011. I understand you had a chance to take a look at some information about our company. Is that true? That is true. Thank you. Great, great, great. Now, what exactly did you like best about what you heard or saw? Um, well, it's the fact that I can save in gold as opposed to my quote unquote failing 401k. Wow, exciting. You, you, you're, you're a lot more sophisticated than a lot of the folks that we talk to. Um, and I and I appreciate that. You know, Mr. Florence does a phenomenal job of identifying folks that um, ultimately have a lot of success in this business. Um, but here's the thing: Do you have any questions about what you heard or saw? Yes. How much would I have to spend? How much would you have to spend? Well, here's the thing: For, um, Generally, I believe there's a cost if you do, and there's a cost if you don't. So here's the thing: What I really prefer is if that you come out and you get the majority of the information that you're gonna need at our Monday night briefing. Monday, we're gonna have a briefing in the Waldorf, Maryland area. Uh, what's your schedule looking like for Monday around 7.30? 7.30 is, is kind of, is pushing it for me, but I'll certainly try. 7.30 is there, is there a backup? Is there a backup meeting? Um, well, I, I can't really tell you if there's going to be a backup meeting. We, we may have something going on later on in the future, but this Monday night meeting is going to be a very, very powerful meeting. There's going to be some, some high, um, some, some high level associates and affiliates at that meeting. I'm telling you some of the folks that you really going to want to meet face to face. So if it's possible, I certainly would like for you to make it, be able to make it out to this event because you sound like somebody that see value in this program. 
And what I don't want to do in lieu of time is try to go through all of the facts with you. But what I can guarantee you is that if you make that meeting on Monday, you'll have all the specifics and all of the questions answered to be able to decide whether this business is something that'll be as business as valuable for you as it has been for Mr. Florence and myself. Does that sound fair? Sounds fair enough. Sounds fair enough. Well, great. What I'm going to do is uh, be, at the conclusion of this call, I'll have Mr. Florence uh, text you over the address. And what you may want to do is, is make it to the meeting maybe, you know, 15, 20 minutes earlier so he can have a chance to uh, personally introduce you to some of those top affiliates that I was talking about. Okay? Sure. May I ask, is this a, another one of those pyramid schemes? <laughs> Pyramid schemes. I, I appreciate that question. Um, and I, I really, really appreciate you asking that question. Understand this. Uh, pyramids are illegal. Our company has been in business since 2011. And uh, we're, we're, act, we're currently operating in over 130 different countries around the world. So I can assure you this is not a pyramid because those companies would not properly license us to do business in their area um, if we were a pyramid. So listen. I, I certainly look forward to meeting you this Monday and being able to shake your hand personally and put a face with the voice that I hear. So um, what I'm going to do, Mr. Florence, will you be able to, to text over the information to Cerise to the meeting? Yeah. Yes, sir. Great, great, great. Well, listen, before I let you go, Cerise, I, I'm not sure how well you know Mr. Florence or where you know him from, but I just want to let you know that Mr. Florence is doing a phenomenal job in this business. He's really killing it, helping a lot of people across the globe have success. As a matter of fact, he actually knows all of the facts about this business, but he's following a system, a system that we use for success. So I just want to let you know that you're dealing with somebody of high integrity and somebody that really knows what they're doing. So I look forward to seeing you both this Monday at 730, maybe a little before, so we can have a pre-conversation and I can actually meet you, Cerise. Been a plum pleasing pleasure talking to you both, and I'll talk to you later. Thank you so much, Mr. Murray. You're welcome. And thank you so much, Mr. Florence. Great. So um, we got about, we got a few minutes left uh, before the conclu conclusion of this training. And um, what I want to do is I want to open up and see uh, and get some, some comments possibly about how this three-way phone call went. Mr. Murray, yes, if sir. I may. Yes, All sir. right. Um, excellent. Uh, Mr. Mr. Florence, great job. And of course, Mr. Murray, your three-way was great. I just wanted to point out a couple of things. Notice that um, Mr. Murray, uh, that uh, Mr. Florence utilized First name was Sharice, as Mr. Murray talked about, and he, he maintained that posture, even though Mr. Murray and Mr. Florence are best of friends, he still referred to him as Mr. Murray and kept made sure that he edified the expert. Um, that's something, a little innuendo, which you might not pick up, even though you heard it and it was trained. I just wanted to really point that out. Um, secondly, I'm going I'm to get off after that comment, but I wanted to ask Mr. Murray if we could make sure that we do a three-way with uh, peaking, with the invitation itself, so folks can uh, witness that because I think a lot of people uh, need to make sure that they work on that process and not do too much talking. That's it, okay. sir. That's all I wanted to say. Sounds good. Sounds good. All right. Sounds good. Um, the one thing I will say about that great job, both of you, um, what I will say is typically we like for the edification to be done before you call yeah. the expert, okay? And um, when you do that, the, again, the, the, the edification is designed to get respect. And then also, remember, one of the things you wanna do is overcome the objection of, why don't you tell me about it? Oh, I don't wanna talk to anybody. So again, we do the edification up front and you use that little phrase, he's extremely busy, hold while I see if I can get one minute of his time. Okay, and that helps you with the objection there. So, so now, if we can flip roles now, um, Sharice, I want you to be, if you could be the, pro, the, be the affiliate, and Mr. Florence, you can be the prospect. Let's go back now and um, do the edification piece. So, Sharice, you're calling up Mr. Florence and um, actually inviting him to the tool. Can we do that? Uh, sure. Okay, great, great, great. First name, Walter. Walter, yes, first name Walter. Okay, uh, I'm sorry you got me stumped. <laughs> That's all right. That's all right. We're going to start out with ring, ring. 
Okay, mm-hmm. and we're calling to introduce. Um, he's Walter is the person that's on your list, and you're calling to invite them to take a look at your uh, Wealth Builders Worldwide le- landing page or the landing page on your on your um, on your video. I mean, on your back office. Okay. Uh, ring, ring. Hello. Hi, hi, Walter. Hey. What's up? Hi. This is not, not much. Uh, this is Sharice Bentley calling from Cashbars International. And I wanted to take this time out to invite you to view a very short video, um, uh, which can be viewed on my, my landing page. Okay. It's, I'm, I'm sorry, uh, Mr. Murray, but I am stuck. <laughs> okay. No problem at all. You want to start over? Uh, can I defer to someone else? Because I'm really just stuck. Okay. No problem at all. Listen, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to go ahead and call... Mr. Florence. So, Mr. Okay. F- I'm going to go ahead and make the. I'll, I'll be the affiliate. Mr. Florence, again, you're the pr- you're the person on my list. Okay. Okay. So, ring ring. Hello. Hey, how you doing, Walter? This is Al, man. Listen, I'm glad I caught you. I'm about to run out the door. Uh, but listen, a, a good friend of mine introduced me to a tremendous business that I'm super excited about. Uh, and what I like to do is just share it with you. It may, you may or may not be interested. It'll only take about 10 minutes of your time. I'm hoping that you can, if I shoot you this quick link, you can take a look at this uh, eight minute video. You think you have time to do that by 12 o'clock today? Uh, yeah, I should, yeah. Well, okay. when are you gonna send it? I'm gonna send it straight away. And what I'll do, I'm a little busy following up with some other folks that are taking a look at this information as well. But what I'll do is I'll shoot you a text and I'll give you a call back right around 1230. Is that okay? Sure. Sounds good. Boom. So um, hanging up the phone, texting them out, and um, now I'm going to call him back. Okay. So now I'm getting ready to call him back. All right. So again, just, but what I want to do too is I'm going to break down a couple of things. One, I'm rushing. Okay. Over the phone. I'm telling him he may or may not be interested. Okay. And that, that kind of like lets him exhale, you know, is in one, isn't one of those recruiting calls. And one of the things that you did, Sharice, was you, you know, hi, I'm calling about Carry Bars International. Okay, so right then I'm going to say, wait a minute, Carry Bars? Oh, I already know about Carry Bars. Okay, so you're setting yourself up for that. So I'm not telling anybody what it is. What I want them to do is look at the video. The video is going to tell them what it is. I need them to be properly exposed. So what I'm doing is I'm calling a friend, you know, Mr. Florence, uh, you know, Walter, I'm, I'm, ex- I'm excited about something. I need you to take a look at the video. You may or may not be interested, and it'll only take about 10 minutes of your time. You think you can look at it by 12 o'clock? Great. I'll give you a call back at 1230. Boom. Okay. And that's, and, and that's just how um, I'm rocking that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to call Mr. Florence back. Ring, ring. Hello. Hey, Walt. How you doing, man? This is Al. Glad I caught you. Hey, listen. Um, would you like best about what you heard on that, on that video? Hey man, I, I I like the fact that you you can buy you can buy gold and, and saving gold. Mm, saving gold, exactly, man. We've got a team of folks. Uh, we're, we're part of actually the largest uh, group of gold savers in the world. But listen, I'm sure you have some questions, and I've got a person lined up to answer those questions. This gentleman is the expert. He knows 110 percent of the facts. He loves helping people. He likes to have fun, and he's building a man size. Uh, international business. But listen, the one thing I love about him most is that he's extremely busy, but he always takes at least one minute to help me out. So hold for a second while I see if I can get him on the line. Click. Oh. And now he's saying, okay, but I'm saying click. All right. Because what I'm doing now is I'm switching over so I can call Dr. Rozelle up and let him know. Okay. So that's how we pique the interest. That's one of the ways that we pique. There are several different ways. And when you go back to Wealth Builders Worldwide, you know, um, there's different ways to peak an interest there as well. So this is just one way to peak interest and, uh, and move from there. Now, here's the thing. When originally, when Walter did the three-way phone call and Sharice, when she was a little busy and may not have been able to make the, um, the Monday night m- meeting, what I did as the expert is I edified the meeting and told her again how important it was for her to be there. So I wasn't accepting her saying I might be able to show up. That wasn't definite for me. So for me, it's always best to let the expert do that because they have a little more experience than you do, okay? And and, and now, let's just say she said Monday wasn't good for me. 
I would say, okay, great. And again, I didn't also let her know that we're doing it every single Monday. Because if I had to let her know we're doing it every single Monday, listen, it might be two, three, mo two, three months of Mondays that go by before she comes out to the meeting. So, so that's one of the big mistakes we make right there as well is, is saying, yeah, oh yeah, we do it every Monday. Or this call goes on every single Tuesday and Thursday. Okay, so what I would have done if she couldn't make it Monday, now I'm going to invite her to the webinar on Thursday night at 730. Okay, would that, would that work better for you, Sharice? And I'm getting a commitment. Okay, great. Well, Mr. Florence, can you, we, can you go ahead and send her the link so that she can make that webinar? And uh, Sharice, what you want to do is log on maybe five minutes early to so make sure you get a spot on the webinar because it fills very quickly. Okay, so just some examples there. And what I want to do, we've got a, maybe, I'm, we'll take maybe five minutes to answer any questions. Well, no, listen, before I, we open up for any questions there, I just want to let you guys know that there's a homework assignment. Okay, your homework assignment is to finish your list, put the names next to your list, or put the numbers next to each name on your list. Okay, you should be writing this down. Finish your list, put the numbers next to your list. Email a copy of the list to your sponsor, along with the date that you want to set up your private goal reception. Private goal reception allows you and helps you launch your business. So those, that is your homework assignment. So before I turn this back over to Dr. Rozelle, as a matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and turn this over to Dr. Rozelle now. And uh, sir, if you want to, you can initiate Q&A, uh, but I'll go ahead and turn this call over to you, sir. Outstanding. Can you hear me, Mr. Mr. Murray? Loud and clear. Okay. Uh, thank you so much, sir. First of all, uh, Mr. Murray, we want to all, all appreciate you so much for the great job that you do every single week um, and just the, your leadership and everything that you do. And thank you to those folks that participated uh, and helped this training go along. Uh, just want you to know that your participation is the content that we need. It's very valuable. And um, actually, it's what makes the training. Mr. Murray and I talk about this every time. We're always excited about how well um, your participation is and how effective it is in, in making sure that we grow a, a strong team and help all of the affiliates to jump on here. Um, that's, that's it. We are going to go ahead and open it up. If anybody has any questions, please go ahead and do that. I want to remind everybody that, of course, uh, Wealth Builders Worldwide, has, we have our Super Saturday Power Call today at 1045. So you want to make sure you get that on there with all your team. Also, um, today at 5 o'clock, we have the Gold Brick Show at 5 o'clock. We have a special guest this week will be Mr. Ramon Wilson, who will be talking about cryptocurrency and the master notes and all that good stuff. But great job, Mr. Murray. And let's go ahead and open up this call. Uh, does anybody have any questions? Please unmute yourself, and we'll be happy to field it. Great stuff. Okay. Looks like it was a phenomenal call. Uh, Mr. Murray, that's all I wanted to uh, to say, and um, we're going to. I'm going to uh, go ahead and just thank all of you for jumping on here again. Don't forget tomorrow night uh, we have to have nine o'clock training for brand new affiliates and actually for everybody. It's at nine o'clock at uh, goldrocks.info. There's www.goldrocks.info. Make sure you jump on there. And um, if there's nothing else, Mr. Murray. I'm going to tell everyone success is voluntary and you deserve it. Um, Dr. Rozelle, it looks like um, we've got um, Trayvon Ice, who's raised his hand. It looks like he's unmuted as well. Looks okay. like Walter Florence is uh, unmuted. Uh, well, I was trying to say. Okay. Um, Trayvon, you are in a bad position. We can't really hear what you're saying. Um, so we'll take, we'll fill the next question. Also, it looks like Walter seemed like might have had a question as well as I see Gloria um, Thomas Wise, who has the hand up as well. All you have to do is unmute your, unmute your line and you can talk. Any questions and comments about anything that went on on the training? Hello, uh, I was wondering, so this is how you master the three-way call. So it's Step one is to hear in there and so on, trust and all that other stuff. Exactly. All right. Okay. That's my question about the cycle and how, okay, it goes from here to there, there to here, and then, yeah. 
Okay. Did, okay. Did you did you did you hear the uh the, the example that we went through? Oh yes, yes. I was listening to the example. Okay, good. That that's exactly how it works. That's exactly how it works, just like the example we did. All right. Can you go back to the screen? I'm trying to screenshot it real quick. The screen is already up. Oh, it's already it's on the left. Yes, sir. Also, you can go to my Facebook page, I mean, my YouTube page, uh, Al Murray, Carrot Bars, and uh, the trainings are on there as well. Okay, so you can, you know, view the whole training again uh, once I upload it to uh, YouTube. Mr. Murray. Murray. Yes, ma'am. Mr. Murray, this is Andrea Hagler. I wanted to say that was a great way to put the, um, put your training together. Uh, but I think I was most interested in um, why do you all figure that it's uh, good to not give the client any information and just allow it to go straight to carrot bars? Okay, here's the thing. You, some people may be very good at giving information, okay, but others aren't. And again, you want to do what duplicates in the business. Okay. So for if you recruit, you might be good at saying, hey, this is Carrot Bars International. I rep, I'm an affiliate with Carrot Bars International, blah, 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 blah. You might be good at doing all of that. Okay. But the person that you recruit may not be. The person that you're talking to may not. Hey, um, Mr. Ice, can you go ahead and mute your line real quick for us, please? All right. One of the things that you have to remember is that um, you are recruiting and training a person from the very first time that you talk to them okay so um there you go trayvon i i, I went ahead and muted you out there well i'm trying it <laughs> okay i'm gonna mute all great okay um so so understand that you are training a new affiliate from the time that you start my gracious what is all this background noise Okay, you are training a person from the very first time you talk to them. So my my recruit, they they the person your prospect is looking at what you're doing, and they're thinking, can I do this? Do I want to do it? And should I do this to the people that I know, like, and love? So what we do is we do with systemic, and with systemic is just sharing the basic information. Okay, and you don't want to give somebody some information that'll automatically tell them right away that they don't want to hear the rest of the information on the video. So for instance, I can say to Walter Florence, you know, hey, I'm an affiliate with, with, with Care Bars International. Um, I've got a video that I need you to take a look at. And Walter Florence heard about Care Bars four or five years ago. Okay, it's like me. This is an actual life situation. Because when I first heard about, when I, the second time I heard, second or third time I heard, actually about the third time I heard about Carrie Bars last year this time, I already knew about it. Okay, and, and because I knew about it, I'm testing the people that are, that, are, that are saying something to me because I understand how systems work. And so if the person had to try to give me all of the information that sponsored me into the business about Carrot Bars themselves, they would have lost me right then and there because I know that's not how we do business. Okay. What you're looking, a professional in this industry understands that you utilize third party. Okay. And again, you want to, you're trying to limit the objections. So that's why I say, listen, I just got started with something. I'm super excited about it. You may or may not be interested. It only take about 10 minutes. If I shoot you a video, you think that you think that you can look at this eight minute video clip uh, by 12 o'clock today. That's it. Simple, simple script. Okay. And, and, and anybody can learn that simple script. So Andrea, you can unmute and hopefully that answers your question. And, and also Mr. Murray, I'd like to add that, and sometimes people think they know about care bars and then they don't know. They're just going by the stuff they've heard, rumors, and then they'll go do this research and they, they think, oh, you know what? Oh, I know about that. I'm not interested. And they don't know. So that's, that's another thing to consider. Some people may know and not be interested because they're going to be testing you out or testing out the, the person to see what they can say, or they may not know and think they know. And then, that's even worse because now they're going on based on some erroneous information 
or maybe even some antiquated information. Absolutely. Absolutely. You, I, could, I couldn't have said that any better. Absolutely. That, that's super important because now they watch the video and they see it professionally done. They're watching the most recent information about the company. And now they're saying, wow, you know what? I can do this. I like this. So, Andrea, does that answer your question? Yes, that answers my question. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Now, folks, um, I know we're we are about to jump on our um, Super Saturday call. Um, if there's anybody that has maybe one more question, um, I'll, we, I'll go ahead and fill it, or maybe even Dr. Rozelle will fill it. Um, if there's anyone that has an additional question, just need to unmute your line. Okay, great. Well, listen, folks, uh, we certainly appreciate you uh, joining us here on this webinar. We'll be back here again next week. Thank you. God bless and have a good day. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Al Murray, can you say the pitch again? Which pitch? The simple, real short pitch. Just got started with something I'm really excited about. It may or may not be interesting for you, with you, what you said. Okay. Hey, John, how you doing? Hey, John, I'm glad I caught you. I'm extremely busy, man. I'm uh, running out the door, but I just got introduced to some phenomenal information. Listen, you may or may not be interested. It only take about 10 minutes of your time. Do you think if I shot you a quick eight minute video, you ha you'll be able to look at it today by 12 o'clock? The basics of that is I got something I want to show you. You may or may not be interested, and it'll only take about 10 minutes of your time. And you're, you're, you're moving very quickly. You're ready to get off the line. Okay? You're, I mean, you're very, very quickly. You, so you, one of the things that, one of the biggest things that we have to make sure that we're doing when we're contacting people about this business is that we're closing our objective. So your objective is to move them to the next exposure in the process. Okay, and, and, and that's, that's all it is. So we want to get them to watch the video. Then we want to get them, when they, after they watch the video, we want to move them to the three-way phone call. And then we're moving them from the three-way phone call to a briefing. And then your person, at the end of the day, when you're, when you're ready to close out your person, your per, or your expert is ready to close out your person, maybe at the briefing, over a three -way, another three-way phone call or what have you, that person can look to the fact that you, as the affiliate that introduced them to the business, didn't say very much of anything about this company. They got it all through third-party information, the video, three-way phone call, and a presentation. And so one of the biggest objectives is, man, uh, Al, you know what? You, you always have success in these kinds of companies, man. You, know all, you, you like to talk to people and things that are like. So I can say, well, listen, you know, John, just think about this. How much did I actually say to you about this business? I didn't say very much to you at all about the business. You, you, you watched the video, you talked to Dr. Rozelle, and you watched a webinar. And now you're ready to get started. So if you can do that, you can have success in the process. And now, now they're thinking in their head, wow, you know what? That's exactly how it worked. And guess what? Now that I've I taught them that whole process th through the system, now when it's time for them to do it, guess what? They duplicate not what you tell them, they duplicate what you do. So you can't go and talk a hole in their head about the business and then come back and say, hey, I, what I want you to do is not talk to somebody, do a three-way phone call, not talk to somebody, invite them to a presentation, not talk to somebody, let somebody else close them out. So when you work the system, that's what duplicates, okay? You want the system to duplicate. And that system can work way levels. I, I've, been, I've, I've got companies growing to this day with over 100 levels, probably close to 200 levels. Last time, I don't even want to even talk about that. But just understand, it's, it can happen so far beneath you because that's a simple system, okay? So with that, um, hopefully you guys got the bulk and the gist of what, uh, you know, you know, we were sharing there. Did that answer your question, sir? Okay, you may, may be muted out again. So um, that's fine, folks. I certainly appreciate each and every one of you. We'll be back next week. Please make sure that you um, 
you, you come <laughs> come back and bring your affiliates with you. All right? Great uh, meeting, Mr. Murray. You're welcome. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Appreciate you attending. Top notch training, brother. Top notch. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. All right, we're going to close out. Thanks and God bless.